I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the braided crochet ear saver. This is my one of my finished ones here. Now an ear saver is a piece that you simply wear with your masks. Uh, a lot of folks are wearing masks, whether it's simply at around town or for work as I am. And so this kind of just pulls the elastics of your face mask back away from your ears. So if you're wearing it for a long period of time, it doesn't irritate them. Uh, if you take a look at the free written pattern on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, you will see some photos there. I'll show you quickly here of how I like to wear mine. I have two options there. I like to wear mine along my neck or up over top of my ponytail. So these uh, crochet ear savers are a simple pattern. Uh, they're made with a 100% cotton yarn. It's a lightweight yarn, so the number three on the label called Patton's Grace. And uh, you're going to need about 30 to 40 yards of that yarn, as well as two little buttons for each side. You're also going to need a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. So thank you so much for joining me uh, for this tutorial. While you're here, please don't forget to subscribe. And uh, let's grab our hooks and yarn and we'll get started. Now one final thing about these ear savers is that they are a little bit longer than some of the other designs that are out there. Um, this one is designed to sim sit just slightly behind the backs of your ears so it's not going to pull the mask too tight over your face. Uh, so it's about seven inches long and then about one and a quarter inches wide. So our pattern today is worked in rows and there's only four rows to this pattern. You're going to start by making a slip knot and then work your foundation chain. Your foundation chain is going to be a total of 34 chain stitches. So go ahead and chain 34 stitches. Once you have your foundation chain of 34 stitches, you're then going to single crochet into the second chain from your hook and single crochet in each stitch all the way across. At the end of this row, you're going to have a total of 33 single crochet stitches. Once you have your first row complete of single crochet stitches, you're then going to chain four and turn your work. Your chain four is going to count as a double crochet stitch and a chain one space. You're then going to skip that first stitch and skip the next stitch. And we're going to work the first, uh, and, and we're going to work a double crochet stitch. So yarn over into that next stitch work a double crochet. You're then going to chain one and we're going to work a puff stitch. However, the, here we're going to work our puff stitch back in that stitch that we skipped. So our puff stitch, we're going to yarn over, we're going to bring our hook back and insert it into the stitch that we skipped, like so yarn over and draw up a loop. So you're working around the post of that double crochet. You're going to do that a total of five times. So there's one, and then two, three, four, and five. Once you've done that five times, you're going to yarn over and draw through all five loop, uh, all of those loops that were on your hook and chain one. And that's your first puff stitch made. We're going to continue that all the way across. So you've chained one, you're going to skip the next stitch that's unworked, so the next unworked stitch, and you're going to double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, and working once again back into that skipped stitch, work a puff stitch. So yarn over, Insert your hook, yarn over, draw up a loop, do that five times. Mm -hmm. 
yarn over and pull that loop through all those loops on your hook. That's your second puff stitch made. You're going to repeat that all the, all the way across, chain one, skip the next unworked stitch, double crochet in the next, chain one, and puff stitch back into the skipped single crochet stitch. Repeat that all the way across to your final two unworked stitches and you're going to chain one and simply double crochet into that last stitch. So I'm just at the end of row two. I have my final two unworked stitch. I'm going to yarn over and work one final double crochet stitch into that final stitch. For row three, I'm going to chain four and turn my work. Now row three has worked very much similar as row two was worked, except what we're going to be doing this time is working into the chain one spaces in between our puff stitches in the row down below. So we have our chain four. We're then going to skip the first chain one space skip the puff stitch and into that next chain one space there work your double crochet stitch. Then chain one and we're going to work a puff stitch but our puff stitch is going to be worked back into that first skipped chain one space. So yarn over, bring your hook way back on the other side of your puff stitch, yarn over and drop a loop. Do that five times Just like so, yarn over, pull through all your loops, and chain one. We're going to continue. So we worked our last double crochet in this one, so we're going to skip the next puff stitch, work a double crochet into the next chain one space, like so, chain one, and then reaching back, skipping that puff stitch, so on the other side, we're going to work our next puff into the same chain one space that that previous double crochet was in. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Yarn over, pull through all loops, and chain one. So you can kind of see it's going to give you that braided look. I'll show you one more time. So skip the next puff stitch, double crochet into that chain one space, chain one, and then going back into the previous chain one space, work a puff stitch. Yarn over, pull through all, and chain one. Skip the next puff, double crochet, chain one, then working back into the previous chain one space, work a puff stitch. You're going to continue that all the way across and then once again uh, when you come to your starting chain four there, we're going to work a double crochet into the third chain of that chain four. But I'll show you that when we come to the end of the row. So I'm just coming up on the end of my row here, my row two, I'm just going to show you how I work it. So I have one puff stitch here, which means I still want to make one more for this row. So I double crochet into that chain four space and chain one, work my final puff stitch back in that previous chain one space. Yarn over, chain one to close it. And then into the third chain of that chain four, I'm going to work my final 
double crochet stitch. Just like so. That's going to bring me to the end of my row three. For your row four, you're going to chain one and turn your work. And we're now going to work one more row of single crochet stitch stitches. So you're going to single crochet into that first stitch, single crochet into the chain one space, single crochet into the top of the puff stitch, and then repeat. Single crochet into the chain one space, single crochet into the puff stitch chain one space and puff stitch. You're going to do this all the way across and you should have a total of 33 stitches when you are done. You're going to uh, continue all the way to that starting chain four and then you'll work one single crochet into the starting chain four and then one into the third chain of that starting chain four. I'll just continue along here and then show you what I mean there in just one second. I guess a few seconds. So I'm just single crocheting into the top of my puff stitches and into each of the chain ones spaces. So when you come to the end, you go into that puff stitch, then into the chain four space, and then one more single crochet into the third chain of that chain four. You're then going to fasten off, and then you can go ahead and weave in your ends. And that's your ear saver compl almost complete. You're then going to just uh, find a couple buttons and I just chose some from what I had on hand and I sewed them on just a little bit in from. Uh, I did think afterward if you wanted to make one that was a little bit more adjustable, you could have two buttons there on it to make it uh, different sizes. Uh, for different size wearers. Um, but yeah, just sew on your two buttons and uh, that's all there is to working this pretty braided ear saver. So thank you so much for joining me. Once again, don't forget to subscribe. Check out the free written pattern, which is in the description of this video. And until next time, happy crocheting. Bye.